Okay, so here we go, clicking back to the background layer so that we can change the skin color. Select all of the skin, and I am not going to worry about the eyes or even the lips. If you have teeth, don't worry about those either. We're just going to get the skin covered up. Okay, that's a good rough outline there. Same process, select, refine edge, radius, smooth, feather, and going around the edge. And in this case, over all of the hair that's on the neck in front of the skin. And we are not going to decontaminate colors because we're just gonna add a color to this one. We don't want to cut out a section like we did when we did the ears. So now we will have the skin selected. And don't worry about this. If it doesn't show up, we can always do something about it later. Now we're going to do a new solid color. Ooh, and that looks great. Except that we want one of these colors right here. Isn't it interesting how many different colors of gray there are? I think I'm gonna go with something on the blue side. Let's see what that looks like. And change that blending mode. Choose the appropriate one. Looks like it's gonna be one of the color ones. There it is. Essentially, for this picture, we have just desaturated my face so that it doesn't look like there's any color in it. Now that we have the skin color, the right color, let's zoom in right here. Do you see that little tiny edge where I don't have any color? What we're going to do is we're going to blend these two together so that we've got the ears blending into the head. Now, first of all, this is way too bright in order for it to look like it belongs there. So get your burn tool and just go over that edge a little bit. That looks much better. And since this is under the hair, it also will not be quite so bright. We're gonna bring that color way down. Okay, how does that look? Too far, back up a little bit. There we go. This side is good because it has the light coming in from this side, so it looks good. 